Let's look at another example. Sometimes you will be given two equivalent fractions and you'll be asked to find the numerator or denominator of one of the fractions. So let's look at this example. It says, what is the value of the missing number if the following two fractions are equivalent? So I've got two fractions here written next to each other, two over six and some number over 18. We've got a missing number here. We don't know what the numerator is of this second fraction. But we do know that these two fractions are equivalent. And since we know they are equivalent, we also know that the cross product should be the same. So we know that when we multiply this numerator by this denominator, it needs to be equal to multiplying this denominator by this numerator for our cross multiplication. So we can say that six times this unknown number, we'll leave it as a question mark, we know that six times this unknown number has to be equal to two times 18. So I can write two times 18 here. So six times some unknown number is going to be equal to two times 18, which is 36. So I can make a 36 over here on this side and go ahead and do that calculation. So six times some number equals 36. We know in order to find that number, we need to divide 36 by six. And we'll end up with our question mark equaling 36 divided by six, which is six. So as soon as I divide that side by six there, I can take this six away and it has my question mark. Equals 36 divided by six, and so the number that we're looking for, this unknown number here in our fraction, this unknown numerator, we can write it in now. It's the number six. So two sixths and six eighteenths are equivalent fractions.